Hey YouTube, this is Raj, and today I'm going to be looking at whether the Silk Touch enchantment or the Fortune enchantment is better. So why don't we get started? So before we get started by looking at the Silk Touch enchantment, I should explain there's three different tools that you can put Silk Touch and Fortune on. So there are the axe, the pickaxe, and the shovel. So Silk Touch and Fortune are incompatible with each other, so you have to pick one or the other. So let's look at the Silk Touch enchantment. So the maximum level is level 1. It basically has one function to it. And what it does is it drops the block instead of the items within the block. So for example, a bookshelf, usually it'll drop books. But if you have a Silk Touch uh, tool that you're breaking it with, it'll just drop the bookshelf itself. This is the items that are specifically you need a pickaxe with Silk Touch on it. Our redstone ore, emerald ore, diamond ore, lapis lazuli ore, coal ore, nether quartz ore, ender chest, stone, and coral blocks, if you can see it back there. So basically, you can see the theme here. It's all ore specific stuff or mining related stuff. So the next one is shovels. Basically, items where you need a shovel with a silk touch. So there are only two it's snow and snow blocks. So these are all of the items that you can break just with an item that has silk touch on it. So bees nests, beehives, bookshelves, blue ice, campfires, glass, glass panes, coral, if you can see it back there, coral fans, glowstone, grass blocks, gravel, ice, leaves, melon, mushroom blocks, mycelium, podzol, sea lanterns, turtle eggs. So you can see that there's a lot of items that you could potentially get by just using self touch instead of actually using just a normal kind of pickaxe, shovel, or axe. So let's look at the fortune enchantment in Minecraft. So what it does is it basically increases the amount of drops you get when you mine an item. So the maximum level is three, so with each level it increases the potential drops that you can get. So let's look at some examples of this. So with the ores, so with coal, diamonds, emeralds, quartz, and also lapis lazuli, you can increase the amount of drops. So with no fortune, it's one times. With fortune one, it can be two times 33% of the time. With fortune three, it can be two times and three times 25% of the time. And with fortune three, it can be 20%, two times, three times, and four times. So it's possible to actually quadruple the amount of drops you get from something like uh, diamonds. Uh, so it's pretty valuable uh, fortune enchantment. So the next one is the drops that are increased by one at each level. So for example, with redstone, carrots, glowstone, sea lanterns, melons, nether quartz, potatoes, sweet berries, wheat, this only applies to seeds only, and beetroots with seeds only, it basically increases the potential drops by one per level. So basically it just means you can get three extra drops per that item. Next one is tall grass for some reason has a different thing. So it increases two per level per each level of the fortune enchantment. And lastly, there is flint, jungle saplings, other saplings, sticks and apples. It increases the amount of drops you can get. So with apples, it's not a huge increase. With sticks, it can go from two to 3.33%. Other saplings, you can see it goes up to 10, 4.3%. 17 for jungle saplings. Flint is the one that's uh, either good or painful depending on your point of view. It can go from 10% all the way up to 100% when you're mining gravel. So that was the fortune and also the silk touch. Basically that was just the explanation of what they do. Now when it comes to which one is better I would probably say the fortune just because it increases the amount of drops you get when you get ore and that's especially useful for things like diamonds. I would say Silk Touch is really useful though also because it basically allows you to not have to reassemble blocks or it's useful in specific situations. So for example, the beehives and the bees nest, if you break it without Silk Touch, it just destroys the block completely. So it's useful in keeping the block and being able to transport it. So I would say it depends on what you want to do. So that was Fortune versus Silk Touch, basically which one is better. And I would say fortune. If you're interested, I've also done videos on each individual enchantment and I've also done enchantment guides on the pickaxe, the shovel, and also the axe. So you can check out those videos. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you want me to keep producing content, please give me a subscribe. You can always have a comment. I appreciate that. And stay classy, YouTube. This is Raj.